Welcome to super scenic Lunenburg, Nova Scotia. Today, I will be climbing aboard one of Canada's grandest old ladies. No, not Anne Murray, it's the Blue Nose. I'll be tacking the stern, I'll be doing some jigging and some rigging. I don't know, a gooseneck from a bowline, but it does not matter because today, my dream comes true. Today, I'm a cabin boy. Hello, Captain. Welcome aboard. How are you, sir? Very well. So it's Phil. Phil Watson? Phil Watson. Captain Phil Watson, and I am uh, reporting aboard the boat, I guess. Vessel. 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 Lunenburg, it's a vessel. Not a boat. Not a boat, not a ship. Already vessel. making a mistake. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, I am ready to work, sir. No, you're a bit overdressed. I am kind of dressed like you. But I'm the captain. Good point. That happens a lot, eh? It does, yeah. This is Sophie. Sophie is the second mate, and uh, Captain Phil sent me to Sophie. Hi, Sophie. How are you? I'm very good. So are we already on tide? Uh, uh, yeah, we are now. It's incredible. I shirked my first responsibility. Now, uh, what happens? Uh, now we're gonna get ready to set the sails. Oh, so. we're putting up the sail. The Blue Nose has a big sail. How big is the sail? Uh, the mainsail is over 4,000 square feet. Is mainsail main sail? Yes. Okay. Now, as I pull this, what happens? Oh, the sail is going up. Heave! Is that bad? It's very bad, yeah. yeah that's a bad thing. Let go! That's good. That's good. The only thing I've hoisted before is a pint. Well, now I've hoisted a sail. Yeah. That oh, wasn't so bad. But you were using a hydraulic windlass yes. for that. Now it's going to be by hand power, manpower. Is yep. this where learning the ropes came from? Indeed it did. Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, that's fast, isn't it? You guys are fast. I... God, I feel like I'm on a Japanese game show. <laughs> <sighs> OK, well, so far, it's not too bad. Oh, look, it's going up. Oh, you are. Come on. I'm supposed to do it with you. Oh, sorry. That was good. Lunch now, lunch. You know what? You guys are actually wearing deck shoes. Yes. Mine are quite shiny compared to yours. Yeah. Mine are Vans. Do you know what they are? That's a midlife crisis right there. That's what that is. Where's everyone going? Well, this was my favorite part. Do. There's a bit of work to do. We can come back and chill. How did you know that? Were you? What are you all psychic? And I'm now joined by Wayne Walters. Hello, Wayne, how are you? Good to meet you, Rick. Good to see you, sir. You are the general manager of the Blue Nose operation. That's correct. And your grandfather was? Captain Angus Walters. And he was, of course, the famous ship's captain of the Blue Nose during all the, all the races, all the fishing, all that stuff. That's right. Now, did he consider himself uh, like a fisherman first or a guy who raced the Blue Nose? Uh, fisherman first. They all were. That was the, the way they made their living. The racing part came from the, the first boat back back to shore. I uh, got the best price for fish. And uh, okay. it, got a, it got a bit competitive there. And they also kept track of, uh, at that time, the America's Cup races. And uh, during the America's Cup races, if the winds got very strong, say 25 knots of wind, they would call the races off. And of course, no. These, these boys would scoff. They weren't at, stand these for that. boys would scoff at that and say, "Let's have a proper working fisherman's race." Right. And that's how it all gets started. Can I drive the blue nose? You can drive the blue nose. You can have the helm. How am I doing? Perfect. Can I turn it? Yes. Now what? No one's panicking. <laughs> this is not hooked up, is it? <laughs> Look at that. We're turning on a dime. Absolutely. Get it? Okay, Sophie, the rigging at the bow. Yes. It's all netty there and pretty and attractive. And why is it there? Like, why would you go out there? If we were taking sails down, we could go out there and kind of bundle them up. Or, right. But we mostly just kind of like to hang out there. Whoa, gentle. You don't hang out here. I totally do. Oh, 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 I should have worn a cup. This is not really a chore, it's more of a hazing, isn't it? Precisely. Yeah. It's Perfect. like, hey, get the TV guy to go in the net. <laughs> what next? I think you're going to go aloft and slush the mast. Now, this slushing of the mast, just explain the slushing of the mast. The slushing of the mast involves you in a chair with a bucket of Vaseline. OK. 
Okay. Why does the mast need to be lubricated? Uh, it helps the sail go up and down a little easier. <laughs> uh huh. Does this make my hips look big? That's my big tub of that. Don't I get gloves? What do I do? I put Vaseline on my hands. Rub them on the mat. I'm worried that my tongue is going to get stuck in the block and tackle, which not only would be painful, but would be detrimental to the show. So apply a liberal amount of Vaseline in your hands like that. You warm it up. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but I think the blue nose likes me. Of course, I'm not the first person to do this. Rita McNeil did this in a much-loved Christmas special in 1991, also on the CBC. This mast is a happy mast. OK, what's that for? Why? What? Why? Why am I going in a garbage bag? This isn't something you do with everyone, is it? Yes, You really? And then you're put in a garbage bag. Yeah, it's really I love sailing. Yeah, isn't that great? Sailing is so much fun. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Well, the pride of Nova Scotia is in good hands. Greasy hands. You're watching the Mercer Report on CBC. Who knows?